Hi, today we will be discussing arithmetic progression. What is arithmetic progression? It is a sequence of quantities called terms, each of which can be obtained from the preceding by adding to it a fixed quantity called the common difference. Okay, the nth term of the progression, a sub n, is equal to the first term, a sub 1, plus the quantity n minus 1, times the common difference. And the sum of an arithmetic progression, S sub n, is equal to n over 2 times the quantity A sub 1 plus A sub n. Or, an alternate formula, it is n over 2 times the quantity 2A1 plus the quantity n minus 1 close quantity D. Okay? Well, let's proceed with example number 1. Find the sum of 10 terms of the arithmetic progression 2, 5, and 8. First, let us define the difference. The difference can be obtained by subtracting the two consecutive numbers. So, it is a sub 2 minus a sub 1. And difference d is equal to 5 minus 2. And the difference now is equal to 3. Substituting that to our formula, a sub 10. That is the 10th term equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. And that is equal to the first term is 2 plus n minus 1 which is 10 minus 1 times 3. Okay? And that is equal to 2 plus 3 times 9 is 27 and that is 29. So our 10th term is 29. Substituting that to our formula, S sub n or the sum of the 10th terms is equal to n over 2 times the quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n which is 10. Okay, so we have here 10 over 2 times 2 plus 29. Okay, and that is 5 times 31 and the sum of 10 terms is equal to 155 that is the answer example number 2 find the sum of 9 terms of the progression 25 21 17 let us first find the difference the difference can be obtained using two consecutive numbers. Okay, this time we'll be using a sub 3 minus a sub 2. And the difference is equal to a sub 3 is 17 minus a sub 2 which is 21. Therefore, the difference is equal to negative 4. Now, substituting that to our formula, S sub n or the sum of n terms is equal to n over 2 times 2a1 plus the quantity n minus 1 close quantity times d. Okay? So substitute now. n over 2 is 9 over 2. Okay? So we are 9 over 2 times 2 and a1 is 25. 2 times 25 plus n minus 1, which is 9, minus 1, times negative 4. Okay? So, we have here S sub 9 is equal to 9 over 2. Okay? Times 50 plus 9 minus 1 is 8 times negative 4 is negative 9 times 8 times 4 is 32 okay so we have here 9 over 2 times 50 plus negative 32 is positive 18 okay 18 divided by 2 is 9 9 times 9 is 81 so the sum of 9 terms is 81 I hope you can follow. Example number 3. Given a sub 1 or the first term is equal to 5, the difference or the common difference is 3 and a half 
or 3.5 and a sub n is equal to 54. Let us find n and s sub n. For us to find n, let us use a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. And a sub n is 54 equal to a sub 1 which is 5 plus the quantity n minus 1 times the difference which is 3 and a half. Okay? Okay. So we have here 54 minus 5 equal to n minus 1 times 2 times 3 6 plus 1 is 7 over 2. That is your 3.5 or 7 over 2. Then we have 54 minus 5 is 49. 49 times 2 over 7 is equal to n minus 1. And 49 divided by 7 is 7 times 2 is 14. 14 is equal to n minus 1. Therefore, n is equal to 15. Okay? And then, solving for s sub n, we have s sub n is equal to n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. And s sub n, our n is 15. So, this is s sub 15 is equal to 15 over 2 times a sub 1 which is 5 plus 54 our a sub n and then we have s sub 15 or sum of 15 terms is equal to 15 over 2 times 5 plus 54 is 59 then the sum of 15 terms is equal to 442.5 I hope you can follow. Example number 4, given a sub 1 or the first term equal to 15 and s sub 10 is equal to 120. This is the sum of 10 terms. Find d and a sub 10, the difference and the 10th term. Let us find the 10th term. We have s sub 10 or the tenth, sum of 10 terms equal to 10 over 2 times a sub 1 plus A sub 10. Okay? So, S sub 10 is 120 equal to 5 times A sub 1 which is 15 plus A sub 10 or the 10th term. Okay? We have 120 over 5 is equal to 15 plus a sub 10. Okay? 120 divided by 5 is 24. 24 is equal to 15 plus A sub 10. Therefore, A sub 10 is equal to 24 minus 15, that is 9. So, our A sub 10 or the 10th term is 9. Let us now find the difference. The difference can be solved using a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Okay? So, our a sub n is 9. Okay? And this is equal to 15, our a1 plus n which is 10 minus 1 times the difference. Okay? So, we have 9 minus 15 equal to 9d. Okay? And 9 minus 15 is negative 6 equal to 9d. Therefore, d is equal to negative 6 over 9 or that is equal to negative 2 third. I hope you can follow. Example number 5. Given 
A sub 2 is equal to 5. The second term is 5 and A sub 5 is 14 or the fifth term. Let us find A sub 5 or the sum of 5 terms and the difference. So A sub 5 is equal to A sub 2 plus 3D. Our A sub 5 is 14 and our A sub 2 is 5 plus 3D. And we have 3D equal to 14 minus 5. Now, 3D is equal to 14 minus 5, that is 9. Therefore, D is equal to 3. Okay? Solving for A sub 1, that is equal to A sub 2 minus D. And A sub 1 is equal to 5 minus 3. And A sub 1 is equal to 2. Now, let us solve for S sub 5 or the sum of 5 terms. S sub 5 is equal to 5 over 2 times A sub 1 which is 2 plus A sub 5 which is 14. Okay? So, S sub 5 is equal to 5 over 2 times 2 plus 14 is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8 times 5 you have 40. That is S sub 5. Did you learn something? Please share and subscribe.